Well, we wanted to give you easier ways, of course, to find and experience the photos that you've taken. And one of those is with places. So now we let you see all of your photos on a map. It's a great way to relive a trip, for instance. But the big news in photos this year is advanced computer vision. We're applying advanced deep learning techniques to bring face, facial recognition to the iPhone. And it's all done locally on device, taking advantage of the power of the advanced silicon in all of our iOS devices. You can get all of your most important people automatically built into pre people albums for you automatically and all done with your privacy protected. Now, we're applying the same kind of technology with deep learning to object and scene recognition as well. In fact, we do 11 billion computations per photo to be able to detect things like there's a horse, there's water, there's a mountain, and with this, you can do really powerful searching on your device. But you know, sometimes the magic and experience in your photos isn't just about finding a photo that you know you're looking for, it's about being reminded serendipitously of a memory that would be so special. And so now we're using advanced artificial intelligence to analyze across your entire photo library, all done locally on device, to cluster together photos and relate them based on location, the people involved, the scenes, and out of this be able to surface memories that be most relevant to you at any given moment. We can bring forward things like trips. We can spot trips that might be important to you. We can figure out that you might want to see photos of a highlight reel of the last weekend or the last year and offer those to you at just the right time. We can bring forward uh, memories of people that are special to you or groups of people and topics, special photos you took, for instance, when you're on the water, or at the beach, at the mountains. These can make wonderful memories to survey over time. But most important, we pull these together into an intuitive user interface that makes these so engaging. And I'd like to show you that experience now. So let's take a look at photos. So we see there's a photo album here of a family, but what you'll notice at the bottom is this new tab called Memories. Let's take a look. So we can see here there are a number of memories that have been offered up into this Memories feed. And at the top, there's a vacation that the system has spotted where the family took a trip to Tahoe City. Let's dive in and take a look at a memory. Now you see there's actually a movie up at the top. We'll talk more about that later. Down below, there's this beautiful layout of highlights of the photos. Now I can tap show all and actually see a grid of every photo that was taken, but you can see how the summary intelligently draws out the most special photos into these highlights that are really great to browse. Now if we go further down, we see that it's actually pulled out a set of people that are in the photo, the family, grandma and grandpa and the uncle, and a map of the location where all of those photos were taken. And down here at the bottom, we have related other memories I might want to see related to this one. And it's really smart. So you see that the uh, Santa Cruz and Fourth of July uh, memories, well, grandma and grandpa were both on the trip in Tahoe City and in these, so those are offered up as related. And this Tahoe City trip was an outdoor vacation, so it offered up another one, like Alaska. And you can see there's another time the family was also at Tahoe City, but this time in the winter. Now I'm going to jump in to that related memory. And you see, once again, we have photos and videos at the bottom, but I want to highlight the movie up here at the top. You know, we all take so many pictures and movies, and we never go back to actually assemble them into something we want to watch. But now our iPhone can do that for us automatically. Let's see what the iPhone has created for this memory. Isn't that great? Nope. 